Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be the final week, week number eight of the ABL, the Amateur Battle League, and we're up against the Minnesota Berserkers. Now, this is going to be a really, really tough matchup. We both have records pretty much on par with each other, and this match is pretty much going to decide who comes out of this with a playoff spot, I think. We've had a couple interesting weeks with timer and with certain item stuff, but we've had a really solid season, so has he, but if we could solidify a spot, I'm like 90% sure, as long as we just win this matchup. But it's a really tough one. He has a lot of big threats. He really likes his G-Max Rillaboom, but he has two really solid G-Maxes that can really throw me for a loop. And he doesn't bring the G-Max Rillaboom at all here, which is scary. I don't know exactly how to play with this. Okay. So what I really want to do, I mean, what I really want to do is lead off with, hmm, how do I manage this? I want to, uh, man, I really don't know. I, I really expected the G-Max really boom lead. Um, I'm going to try and potentially lead off with the Klefki anyway, but I'm not sure how well that would work. Um, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to use this primarily as a scout, but then I think I could pair it up with... Yeah, I think I could still make the same kind of lead choices, just if for, nothing, if for no other reason to kind of scout out what he wants to do. And I think, I think, I mean, I'm just going to get right into it. Like I said, I really hard expected him to want to lead off with the Rillaboom. So much of my um, preparations here are for the Rillaboom. And I really don't know how well I'm, I'm going to interact. Obviously, I do have a, a different mode for his um, Rush Ram and his uh, Colossal mode. And to kind of manage it. But uh, it's... I'm kind of at a loss. Okay, it doesn't lead off with the Clefairy and the Rush Ram. Okay, okay. I think that's moderately fine. We, we will lead off with the Clefki and the... And the Vicavolt. So... I'd be curious if I could get away with getting a Thunder Wave off, although it, this could just be a, a, a follow me, which would be pretty pretty detrimental, but I also really want to get off a Sticky Web like I originally planned on, although the Sticky Web was... No I, I, no, I think I could still do this. I think this still offers me a lot of value here. There's the follow me, which is going to be fine. I'm going to get a, a Paralysis off on this Clefairy, which is potentially going to be huge. Um, I don't think... This goes for a dragon dance. Okay. That's pretty bonkers. That's honestly pretty bonkers. But what this is also going to allow me to do. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to try to. I mean, I could still get the, the reflective like I planned on. And I'm going to see if I could just deal damage to this Clefairy now. And see how far that gets us. Um, I want to... Put, I still want to be moderately uh, uh, aggressive for when... Um, when do these mons do go down? I think the obvious best option for me to want to go into would be the Santa Conda. Um, the Santa Conda is one of the most offensive Santa Condas that I've ever put together. But it does kind of fit here. Um, it is a soul vested for this Rush Ram. Which is going to be in a really weird position here. But I think I'm going to try to be, be able to manage it well with this Reflect. And with, um, I don't know, just certain other things that I can potentially try and do here. Um, but it's just going to be trying to manage this restaurant, which is just going to continually set up Dragon Dances in my face. Um, if, I, if and when I can deal with this Clefairy, I can kind of put myself in a position where I can make some things happen. Now, I could also Iron Defense up here. I could also Iron Defense up here. And just continue to try to do damage to this Clefairy. Um, we'll see. I, I, I'd be, I, I'm very curious to know how long this Clefairy is going to stay on the field. Um, but I'm also very curious to know what, what kind of moves this Rush Ram has for me. Uh, this could be absolutely not another 6-0 situation. Um, as he gets a third Dragon Dance up. I think, I think part of him is, is expecting... 
me to kind of get through this Clefairy eventually and, and for him to kind of have to kind of deal with a Thunder Wave sooner or later. But I think... I think I'm going to put my Clefkey in a position where I can take some hit, or at least like a hit, and then hopefully, like I said, once I'm able to kind of manage this Clefairy, then I'll be in a position where I can get a Thunder Wave off, I can start disrupting this Rush Ram somewhat, and start to kind of do some kind of damage here. So this will be a super effective hit into the Clefkey, but we are taking that like a champ with, with the two Iron Defenses and the Reflect up, and I'm really hoping we can take this thing out. We don't. Okay. But the Clefairy does get paralyzed, which is very, very interesting. Um, I'm, I just want to check up on, I'm a plus four. Um, I think I can do this. I, I think I can play off him potentially not going for another, potentially not going for another follow me here. But although he could, the Clefairy is paralyzed. Okay. So that's huge. That's huge, as we are able to get a Thunder Wave off on to this Reshiram. Uh, I'm gonna check, I believe that, I believe, yeah, okay, so this thing will go down. I think as far as uh, things go, it's it's not the worst thing that could have happened. I, I believe it's a plus three and paralyzed, Um, which is not the best. It's definitely not the best, but it's um, somewhat manageable. Um. Actually, I'm not even sure. Yeah, I actually think I'm in a position where a Scarfed... I, I guess I should check up on this, just to be sure. So yeah, okay, I should... Uh, a Scarfed... A Scarfed Eternatus should still outspeed a plus three Paralyzed Rush Ram. Which is a very interesting position for me to be in. Uh, definitely not what I expected, but... Uh, I think... I think I can get out of this situation moderately unscathed. Although I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I don't. I don't quite know yet. Um, I am obviously very afraid of a scarf crocodile. But I am correct. Yeah, it's plus three. So I should be able to get a Dynamax cannon off. Um, I do have a turn of beam on this, and I would like to get it off. Even just even just as a meme, I think it'd be pretty hilarious. But I should still at speed as a scarfed Eternatus. Actually, even a non-scarf to turn it is should be able to should be able to outspeed a plus three paralyzed Reshiram. Um, but there's the Dynamax Cannon. This should, by every indication, be a KO. And he honestly doesn't know how bulky of a of an Eternatus I will end up being. Although I don't know. I guess we'll just have to manage whatever happens. I didn't even notice the air balloon. That is insane to me. Uh, I will eat the Charty Berry here, so I believe... No, that doesn't... No, that doesn't confirm anything. Um, and yeah, we are still behind a Reflect, I believe, and the Charty Berry. Um, I, I would be surprised if it isn't the last turn of Reflect. But he doesn't know how fast we are, and he doesn't know how... Yeah, there's the Reflect. He doesn't know how fast we are, and he doesn't know... Um... Well, I guess now he knows how defensive our, our Vicka Volt is. But... Yeah, we still have not managed. We still have not managed the Colossal, which is coming out right now, right the heck now, which is very problematic. In fact, it's so problematic that I think that my Eternatus should should um uh target down the Crocodile so it doesn't get any like crazy bulldoze nonsense going on. Although, th although that doesn't seem likely to me. I think I can just Dynamax... I think I can just make the same play. I can just Dynamax Cannon... Here. And... I don't know. I feel like I just KO the Crocodile. I feel like I just KO the Crocodile. Is there a better play to be made? I think I take this damage where it is. And I Thunderbolt the Colossal. I think I just take the damage where it is. And this is where the most damage is available to me. Um, my Vicavolt can absolutely go, go down here, but but I think I put him in a position where he can only KO one of us, and at the very least, this ensures one KO on his side, and he can only KO one of me. Uh, ergo, I can kind of adjust to, to, to whatever 
he tries to do here. So there's the Dynamax Cannon. Um, and I think... No, I mean, realistically, he, he would quake into the Eternatus. I think that's the most realistic. But, like I said, we, we do get the damage off where it is. Goes for the Rock Fall, which means maybe he's, maybe he's going into... Yeah, okay. Okay, that's... To I mean, that's... As far as I'm concerned, that's best case scenario. As far as I'm concerned, that is best case scenario. Because now nothing on his team can outspeed my, my Eternatus. I can get a hit off with the Eternatus. And his Colossal cannot outspeed my... Santa Conda, and now my Santa Conda is in a position where I can just deal a lot of damage. Although, okay, yeah, it does look like the best option here is going to be, uh, there's the Oranguru, which is going to be really problematic. I think this kind of signals to me that he's, that a, um, that a Trick Room situation is coming up, which is going to be obviously not great, but... I think it might be worth switching out here. No, no, I don't think so. Is it? Let me think. Let me think. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I just attack into the Oranguru. Or I can double attack the Colossal. Um, no, I think I double attack the Oranguru, honestly. I think I double attack the Oranguru. Um, it could even... No, I think this is... Yeah, I think this gets me the most value here, honestly. I think this is the best thing that I can do right now. Because, because if the Oranguru can, can prevent Trick Room, then I think I can always rely on my, on my Surf Fetch to, to be able to, to kind of manage the, manage the Colossal at least somewhat. So I think that's where my head's at. I, okay, so honestly, I kind of expected a, a, a Max Guard onto the Colossal. Uh, the fact that it's not max guarding is incredibly concerning, but we do seal, we do deal some damage. Um, can we straight up KO this Oranguru? I mean, that would obviously be best case scenario, and I think we pick up the KO. I believe so, unless, um, yes, okay, we do pick up the KO. So there will be no Trick Room, and there's a max Quake, but again, uh, the max Quake is not what I'm concerned about right now. You can, you can KO me, although you don't, um... Uh, I'm curious as to why you don't, though. I'm curious as because I, I, I mean, Colossal's moderately strong. I guess, I guess it's not terribly strong without boost. It, it kind of does rely on boost a little bit. Maybe that's, maybe I'm, um, I was, I'm overestimating Colossal a little bit without any type of surf boost or weakness policy boost, I should say. But there, here comes the Galar Slowbro, and uh, this is always, this is also going to be a really interesting position to be in. But, is it ever worth switching out here? I don't think it is. I think the Colossal is always going to be in range. All right, so let me see. If this is a max HP... Oh, oh so th this does take into account max HP. But it looks like... Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to double attack into the Colossal slot here. I think that's optimal here. No, no. I think, I, I think of anything, I double attack into the Slowbro slot. I think I double attack into the slow burst slot because because again I think I think the colossal is always going to be manageable. I think, it, the, I think when the colossal becomes unmanageable is when I allow its partner Pokemon to kind of help it out and do something with it. So if I can prevent that from happening, then I think I can, I can successfully manage the colossal. But that just does a lot of damage, a lot a lot of damage, and you will get buried up. But I don't think that's going to help um, in terms of being able to take a super effective hit from the Santaconda here. Uh, also, my Santa Conda is assault vested as well, so that's going to be another factor here. But there's another Max Quake. If the Eternatus goes down at this point, um, it, I don't think it even particularly matters because what this means is that um, it's going to allow in my Surfest for free, and I am trying to remember what what else he has on his team. Um, I believe we took out the Orange Guru. Slowbro, Crocodile. Um, maybe it's more worth it to go into this thing. We we took out one, two, three, four Pokemon. Oh, and the Clefairy. I think I think this thing is the last thing left. So I'm gonna see. Yeah, I'm gonna see whatever happens here. This could this Colossal could be the last Pokemon left. Um. 
And if that's the case, then that'd be nuts, but it does look like that's the case, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we've somehow managed to do this, but uh, I'm just going to click Close Combat, and I'm just going to click GMAX Hand Blast. I feel like there's nothing left to be done here. Uh, Sandaconda, I think, picks up just a bunch of KOs because of the Eternatus support, but... Um, but yeah, like I said, I think Colossal needed a, a, a lot of help here, and the fact that I was able to kind of um, prevent that help from from from, com from coming to fruition uh, was huge here. Uh, that will KO the Colossal. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was just a bonkers kind of way for this match to go. Like I said, I really prepared hard for the Rillaboom. I think, if anything, the the um, it hurt me a lot having to deal with that Reshiram. Um, he did go really, really aggressive with his, uh, Rush Ram setup. Um, although, yeah, just being able to, to get a Thunder Wave off, being able to, um, freely bring in the, the Eternatus, being able to manage the Clefairy, um, just kind of everything came together, especially the fact that it was a physical, um, set against what I wanted to be my, my lead f physical walls. I think if he had brought a special Rush Ram, I would have been... In, in an insane amount of trouble, although I think Eternatus was always going to be able to come in and kind of um, manage it a little bit. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. That'll be the final week. I believe this should get us into playoffs. But I guess we'll all just see whether or not there are more games to be played for this season. I will be back with more weeks of the ABL, maybe. But there will definitely be more weeks of the UBL. And I believe that's it. That's going to be it for, for a little bit. The UBL will be coming back really, really strongly this time around. But yeah, with the Gallows Defender League season over, I'll be trying to work on a few different things here and there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.